Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we're standing outside a house flip that is almost done. Just gonna do a quick in progress video, show some cool stuff we did um, to save money on this. So, we tried painting laminate counters, which actually turned out pretty cool. So, we're gonna show you those, some other quick stuff we did. Uh, we bought this one for 240000 from a wholesaler. Didn't spend very much at all, I think around 15000 on the rehab, uh, maybe a little bit more. We've gotta refinish the hardwood floors but very affordable rehab. So we'll show you what we did and it should be worth in the 330 range once we're done. Of course, we'll have other costs like selling, carrying, and financing costs, which will be another 20 to $25,000 in that price range. So um, this is one of 14, 15 flips we have right now. We are also buying four in the next two weeks. So quite a few new ones coming up here that we'll have videos of and a few that will be done here too. I know I've been promising that for a while, but eventually we'll get them done. There's one constant in repairing houses. It's that everything takes longer than you think it will. All right, so these floors were already here when we bought the property, but we painted everything. Um, like I said, we're gonna refinish these floors. They're almost good enough to without, but there's some spots you can see that are worn in the other rooms as well. Didn't do anything with the fireplace. Don't have to do anything crazy. We can let the new homers do that. And then we'll show you the kitchen, which had kind of a 90s, 80s, 70s mix. And what we did is kept the cabinets, put on new hardware. We're gonna put in new appliances, which aren't here yet. But this was a super ugly laminate. Was it orange? I can't remember what color it was. Reddish orange and we painted it. So there's paint they make for countertops and from far away it almost looks like a solid surface counter. It's awesome. <laughs> and you can see, you know, we still have the old cutting board that was here from 30 or 40 years ago. We didn't have to disturb the tile. You didn't have to do any of the backsplash. You didn't have to risk, you know, the cabinets falling apart when we tear off the counters. So that saved us a ton of money by doing that. And in our market, houses don't have to be perfect to sell. Um, this will be just fine as it is to sell in that price range. So that was one way we saved a lot of money. And I'll show you as well, going into the bedrooms. This will all be refinished hardwood. This bathroom, we did the same thing. It had super old laminate and we painted it with the counter paint and it looks really good. And you know, you think, oh, it'd be cheap to put in a new vanity. Well, not a vanity that's gigantic, like that and eight feet long with double sinks. Those get very expensive. So this saved us a lot of money. And we also, whoop, door got in the way. Didn't do, we need to touch up some of that stuff. But we left the shower as it is, replaced the towel bars, which were old and rusty. And that's all we did. So again, flipping houses is not always about replacing everything, but replacing the things that really need it and saving the stuff. Of course, we kept the cool toothbrush flipper outer thing. Was not gonna let anybody get rid of that. This bedroom as well, you know, hardwood. We painted the doors. We did not get new doors. That saves us money. This bedroom as well. Well, needs a hardwood, you can see. It's really, it's not horrible, but it'll really look great once it's done. And this is kind of the master here, which did not have hardwood. It just had subfloor, so we just put carpet in that. And again, I mean, you could spend way more money putting brand new hardwood in, but then it's probably not gonna match the old stuff. It might look weird and it won't make the house sell for anymore in most cases. All right, we'll go to the basement. Which again, did not do much down here either. We even kept the cool wallpaper. We did put in carpet, as you can see. There was a giant gun safe right here, and I don't think I showed it in the video. Maybe I did, um, 
once we moved it, they had carpeted around the safe because it was so heavy they didn't even want to move it to put in carpet. They cut out the carpet, left the old carpet, carpeted around it. So we moved it. Actually, Nikki's husband took it, so he has a cool new safe now. We put in the carpet in the laundry room. You know, nothing crazy, but we did paint the floor, which I think helps a lot, cleans it up. This cabinet, we left, touched it up a little bit. You know, this is not sheet rock. It's kind of like a wood panel, but again, it doesn't look bad once it's painted. If you're in here, you can hardly notice it, so no reason to replace it. This bathroom, same thing. Painted the vanity, the counters, added a mirror, and I know it was one question I asked before. In the before video, I'll link to that, but whether to save this bath tile or not, we did, as you can see. And that saves, you know, that's what, $1,000, $1,500 in savings right there by saving that instead of tearing it all out and redoing it. Um, that's a big deal, and it's a basement bathroom. Some people might even like it. Most people won't think it's a big deal, so we left it. And then fourth bedroom right here. And that's the property. So, well, I guess you guys complained the last in progress video I did this week. I didn't show the backyard. So before I leave, I'll show the backyard. We have the nice big garage. We did have to paint that, the outside. So we painted the outside. We still need to get some touch up out here. Can't have peeling paint for FHA or even most conventional loans. So we'll get that taken care of. The HVAC, AC works great. It's nice and cool in there. And it's like 99 degrees outside right now in Colorado. So that's good. And that's the property. So of course, check out investformore.com. Have a list of all the last flips we've done in the last three years with videos, all kinds of information. Of course, my books on flipping, buying rentals are all on Amazon if you want to check those out. And appreciate any comments and thumbs up you have for us as well. So we'll have more videos coming up soon. Let us know what you think of this one. And we'll be back for more later.